up everyone this is Sai Shwa from Sai Shwa Tech TV in this video I'm going to show you a quick review of uh, your Galaxy Y installed with uh, Jelly Bean so in my other video I would have shown you how to install Jelly Bean I'm gonna just show you a quick review about the features of the Jelly Bean in your Samsung Galaxy Y so let's get started So the lock screen is as in your uh, inbuilt uh, OS. So this is your uh, layout of your Jelly Bean. So first let's look up at the dialog. So the dialog is typical Jelly Bean style dialog giving you a feel, a new feel to your uh, standard dialog which is present in your Galaxy Y. So it's working completely fine. You can have access to your keypad and this one right here shows you the call logs and the last one will take you to your contacts. So dialer is working fine. It's good. And this will show you your contacts, the typical jelly bean skinned contacts for your Samsung Galaxy Y. So changing uh, overall look and feature for your phone. And let's look at the messaging. So your message skin is also in jelly bean style. And yeah, you are given with the jelly bean keypad. So the keypad looks absolutely cool. So no bugs in it, so it's typing perfectly. So it's so fine. And let's oh portrait board. Yes, it is working fine. No bugs in it. And another thing I have to tell you is the notifications. So the notification is given with a standard jelly bean style notification. So as you see when I press it, uh, you can see a blue light here. This one right here. So this is present in uh, Jelly Bean and it's giving you a great feel to you know the blue theme of your uh, Jelly Bean. So you are given with um, numerous toggles. So you are given with a number of toggles such as your Wi-Fi, your uh, data, uh, connectivity, your Bluetooth, your GPS, your brightness, your Wi-Fi hotspots, your airplane mode and uh, your auto rotation. So you are given with numerous toggles. And you can swipe as I did now. You can swipe things to remove it. And this is a shortcut to your settings menu. So let's go to the settings. So this is the layout of your settings, giving you a jelly bean feel to your uh, Galaxy Y. So let's look about phone. So as you see, the uh, Android version is 4.1.1, which is nothing but jelly bean and uh, there's another uh, great feature about this is uh, if you're having past time you just select it numerous times and as you see you can get a uh, picture so normally you get uh, jelly bean and floating particles will arrive and in this custom room you are given with a uh, picture so this is how the settings layout is and uh, here you can access your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, call settings, all those stuff. And in the CPU settings, well, you can uh, you can you know overclock your uh, clock frequency. You are given up to 832 megahertz, so you can select whichever frequency you, you want. And you can uh, you are provided with uh, many types of governors such as your power cat, active cat, black cat conservative performance are given with numerous types of governors so you can select whichever governor you want and so smooth and giving you a complete jelly bean feel and let's look up at the, the RAM so this is how uh, the menu so the menu layout uh, showing you all the applications for the task manager so 
first when I installed it I was provided with around 185 MB of RAM now it's showing 190 as I was using it for some time uh, when I installed it I was provided with around 185 to 180 to 185 MB of RAM so your uh, it doesn't take too much memory so it's good and let's see about the camera So this was the picture taken, so camera is working absolutely fine, no bugs in it. So it's the overall look of your phone has been changed, it will give you a new experience. So you can, this is a shortcut, to your, you can add wallpapers, you can edit your screen, you can manage your uh, applications, launcher settings, system settings, you can uh, access it here. And another important tool I have to tell you is about the DSP manager. I have uh, told you about DSP manager in my other videos. This is a great app. Uh, it will give you, you can use it to configure the audio settings for your headset, your phone speaker and your Bluetooth device. You can select. So you can customize the effect of audio for your uh, Bluetooth or headset and other things. And let's look at the clock. So you are provided with an inbuilt clock which is a uh, gingerbread style clock. And uh, your file explorer will be your uh, typical file manager in this room. So it will, you can access your uh, folders and files that are present in your phone's SD card and let's look at the gallery so the gallery is a typical jelly bean style gallery uh, changing the layout of your gallery uh, usually the layout of the gallery present in gingerbread is different so it is giving you a, a smooth style So the zooming effects and everything is fine and uh, you can select it to share uh, via messaging, Picasa, Bluetooth or Gmail and this is the settings you can delete it or uh, you, you, you can you will be provided with some features in it. So sharing is made easier in Jelly Bean. So this is how your gallery is and everything is ok good. So transition effects are good, so smooth, and it's fine. And uh, everything is working fine so far. No bugs have been de detected. You are given with a Chrome browser, so just try it out and uh, just tell me how you felt about it. So the overall look and feature is good, and this here shows you all the apps that are present, and this shows you the recent apps that are uh, you have accessed. And this one right here, when you access it, it just uh, takes you to the Play Store. Let's look at the calculator now. So the calculator is Jelly Bean style calculator, giving you the calculator applications of uh, provided in Android devices running uh, 4.1 and later versions of it. Calendar is also typical Jelly Bean style calendar, and uh, everything is working fine. So. The main uh, feature is that your your phone memory, you know, it doesn't take up too much memory. So the process speed is working fine. Everything is working fine. And uh, when you long press it, you can actually get access to your recent applications. So this this kind of this layout and this feel will not be present in Gingerbread or Fryer Fryer versions. So this is the version. Uh, this kind of uh, new feature is uh, available in Jelly Bean. You can swipe or you can select to uh, select your recently running applications. You can swipe, select just to access it. So this feature is provided in Jelly Bean. So almost all features of Jelly Bean have been added to your Galaxy White. So changing your look and feel and features of your giving you a new experience. So this is all about your Jelly Bean installed for Galaxy Y. So if you like the video, give it a like. 
subscribe for more for more thanks for watching enjoy